from where i belong there is a saying you don't go to heaven without dying right and where this dying comes from this comes from the eighth house but there is a very serious question is eighth house the house of death no eighth house is the house of life eighth house is the house of longevity when it exhausts the longevity exhausts death happens but basically it is good it gives longevity death in a state comes from second house and seventh house what is known as marak this is more troublesome as compared to the eighth house but what have happened people have understood eighth house in very wrong you know in with very wrong conception is there with respect to the eighth house and this wrong conception should be out this wrong conception should not be there if you want to see the horoscope in entirety if you want to have an unbiased opinion about the horoscope now see why why i am saying that you don't get heaven without dying eighth house a prominent eighth house see you have a planet in eighth house it becomes prominent a rashi with a planet is more powerful as compared to a rashi without planet is a basic rule it becomes powerful little bit powerful if this planet is combust in the eighth house it is little bit more powerful only you say 10% planet is debilitated in eighth house it is 20% powerful planet in inimical sign in eighth house planet is 30% powerful planet in friendly sign in eighth house planet is 50% powerful planet in own rashi varagottam in eighth house planet is 70% powerful planet in mool trikon in eighth house 80% powerful planet in own rashi exaltation in eighth house planet is 90% powerful planet is exalted plus retrograde in eighth house planet is 100% powerful this is basic power scenario whenever i will use the word power you will use this secondarily if the eighth lord is powerful in any house powerful condition is exaltation retrogression own rashi mool trikon vargottam is power this same power factors are also positivity factors except for retrogression retrogression is power only no positivity right when eighth house is powerful that is powerful planet in eighth house or eighth lord is powerful then only one gets the heaven because as i told you you don't get heaven without dying basically what it means in the life of this person there will be sufferings there will be challenges and these things will be there that is for sure no one can deny the fact but this is a this person is not a follower everyone in the world what they will do they will follow what others are doing they are just a sheep of the herd but the person having a prominent eighth house powerful planet in eighth house eighth lord powerful is not a sheep of the herd he is a loner lion this person will have to go through sufferings misery calamities all of these things he will have to go through no problem it will be there there is no denying the fact but he will do something very very great great reform in society producing new researches talking about things that no one have ever imagined before all these things come from the eighth house not only this it is the strong eighth house which make people remember you after you die it is only because of a strong eighth house for example people like albert einstein he is having an exalted mars in the eighth house that's why we still remember him first point right so this remembrance after death you do such big thing that people remember you long after you are gone comes from the eighth house you have done something revolutionary for the society you have done something revolutionary for the country you have done something have did some contribution for which the world will remember you for many many years to come also comes from a very prominent and very strong eighth house right for example in the horoscope of paramahansa yoganand there is own rashi jupiter in eighth house so he talked about kriya yoga he taught kriya yoga to people which have changed the life of generations to come 
and this should be according to the nature of planet. You see, when sun is there, eighth house, powerful condition, one does great governmental and social reforms. Moon is there in the eighth house, one is like Mother Teresa, helps a lot, helps people a lot. People remember him for his emotional caring nature for what he have done. Mars in the eighth house for his homeland, motherland, for his country, person does a lot. Mercury in the eighth house for his relatives in the field of education, knowledge, the person does great things. Jupiter in the eighth house in the matters of religion, spirituality, meditation, in the matters of finances, person is a torch bearer. Venus in the eighth house in the matters of relationships, luxury, how people live life. Person is a torch bearer. Venus also indicates NGO in helping people. Person is a torch bearer, specifically with respect to Venus. Such people, they do such great things for their family members. Like these people arrange for everything for their family before they die. So after them, no one have to worry about anything, either financially or any matter. Right. After them, they secure everything before they die. Saturn in the eighth house, upliftment of poor people, upliftment of weak people for the society, for people who are suffering. Person does great things, such great things, as I told you, such great things that people remember you after your death for multiple, multiple generations. Rahu is in the eighth house, then protection. Protection of either old customs or traditions or protection of those people who are meek, weak, socially oppressed or researches, finding new knowledge, giving new knowledge is the contribution that you are going to do. If there is Ketu in the eighth house, then for spirituality, for spiritual practices, the person is known and also the person is known for international level of reform. Person is known for being voice of those who are already long, you know, who are long dead before. It's, he becomes the voice for ancestors. He became the voice for those people who died doing something, but no one listened to them because of the contributions of these people. Because of the contribution of this person, people will go and listen to him. Listen to those people who are long gone. Right. Other significations of planets are also there. That you people already know. You people are very intelligent, more intelligent than me. So that you can use yourself and multiple things can be told. Two, three things are there. Once again, I will repeat. In life, there is a lot of struggle, ups and downs and all of these things are there. Eight house gives that, a prominent eight house gives that. But there is phenomenal success in the end. What I say in the starting, prominent 8th house in the starting, people don't understand you because you are doing something so revolutionary. You are doing something so great that the world who is living into a herd, who is a sheep, cannot understand what you are doing. But after the age of 30, 40, people start realizing it. And after that name, fame, status, recognition, is very, very great. There is a great, great followership of people. People follow you. And this followership is so great that they remember you. They do things as you have told. They follow your advices even long before your death. Even long before, even long after your death. Because see, there is one more concept. No, how many people come to your funeral? When you have a strong 8th house, there are many people who are coming to your funeral. That is the death of such person is a state mourning. The death of a such person is a loss to country, loss to society. This only 8th house can give you. This is something that I have to be kept in mind. So in starting, there will be calamities, ups and downs. People will not understand you. Of security will be there. But don't worry about it. Near future. After the age of 30, 35, things will become great. In fact, the house for name, fame, status is 10th house. 
and another is 8th house. The name fame status of 10th house is only up to the extent till you are in the world, but the name fame status of the 8th house is long after your death also. For example, Ramakrishna Paramahansa, 8th Lord is going into ascendant, it is Digbali. Digbali is also a powerful situation. So the contribution of Ramakrishna Paramahansa, the world remembers even today, his path we still follow even today. One more thing what I have noticed with respect to the 8th house that it indicates something that no one can take away from you. It is that wealth that no one can take away from you. For example, in all these cases, Ramkish Paramans, Paramans, Yoganand, Albert Einstein, all these contributions that they are making, it is coming from knowledge, it is coming from experience. Now, knowledge and experience is a wealth that no one can steal. So, powerful 8th house, what it does indicate that people can copy you, people can replicate, but they cannot make you obsolete. Right? What you have that cannot be stolen, such qualities are there. For example, sun in the 8th house, diplomacy and helping nature of people, no matter how hard people try to stop you from helping and doing what you are doing, they will not be able to stop you. You will continue doing, people will compete to become like you, but they cannot. When there is a powerful planet in the 8th house, in which area they will compete, you can decide as per the planet who is into the 8th house, right? If moon is there, they will try to compete in your name, fame, status. They will want to become as famous as you are. When sun is there, they will also try to compete in name, fame, status and your contacts. They will also want to have contacts like you are having. If Mars is in the 8th house, people will compete for your valor, for your authority for your leadership qualities. Compete means they will want it, they cannot get it. So competition is not the right word, right? Competition is only when someone can get it. So they will want it, better word. When Mercury is in the 8th house, when Jupiter is in the 8th house, when Rahu is in the 8th house, then your knowledge, your research, your experience is what people want, but they cannot get it. When Venus is there in the 8th house, then your personal life, the happiness you are having, your belongings, your assets is what people are wanting, but they cannot get it. When Saturn is there in the 8th house, then your approach, your helping nature to people, how you become cool and calm under every situation is what people want, but they cannot get it. When Ketu is there in the 8th house, then your balanced approach in all the situations, your thinking, your mentality, your vision, is what people want, but they cannot get it. No matter how hard they try, getting this particular thing for them is impossible. Also with respect to Rahu Ketu, as I always say, based on the planet situated with Rahu Ketu, expecting Rahu Ketu or the based on the sign lord of the Rahu Ketu, the prediction should be made. This is a very basic principle. This should not be forgotten under any situation or circumstance. Be very, very, very clear about it. Right? One more thing I have seen. What? Generally what happens? Strong 8th house person, no. Say there is a couple. Because, you know, what I said, the people are wanting, but they cannot get it. There is a couple. The couple is very happy, so happy that others are jealous of the couple. Now people think, so say this is a lady, a lady is having a strong 8th house, a strong planet in 8th house, 8th Lord powerful. Her marital life is very good. Everyone thinks her husband is very good. In many cases, I have seen a strong planet in 8th house, people specifically friends, family member, they conspire to take your husband away. Your own friends, your own best friend can go in affair with your boyfriend or your husband or your spouse or your fiance, anyone X, Y, Z. They will try to steal it. Because they think your marital life, your love relationship is very good and it is because of that person, other person. But that's not the reality. The happiness of marriage, the happiness of relationship, the greatness of relationship, the enjoyment of relationship is because of the person who is having a strong 8th house. 
So the friend, family member, or anyone who have cheated you and have taken away your life partner or anyone for that matter, what they will get in the hand is remorse. They will soon find out that there is no greatness of this particular person, but it is the greatness of the person who is having the strong planet in 8th house. Right? So two things are there. When you have a strong planet in 8th house, people want to have what you are having and they will conspire. They will do anything to get it. Any tactics, any type of planning, you know, going down to any level, they will not care. They will just want to steal it. But after stealing what they will find that it was not the greatness of the object, but it was the your greatness. It was not the greatness of the other person that they have gotten. It was not the greatness of the product, but it was the greatness of the person. It was the greatness of you that was making it shine. So this is the invaluable treasure that they cannot steal. People will think that you are looking good because of this cloth. They will steal the cloth. They will think that they will also wear it. They will also look beautiful, but they will not look. They will try to compete. They will try to purchase same types of cloth as you are wearing. They will try to have same types of habits as you are having. You are touching your nose. They will also touch their nose. They will think they will look beautiful into it, but it will not happen. It will not happen because a strong 8th house, whatever you have, whatever you possess, no matter how hard people try, they cannot get it under any situation at all. They can only want it. Getting it is impossible. Right? Getting it is extremely impossible. <clears throat> In fact, there are many people who want to create change in the society. Who want to become harbinger of the change? Who want to change the way people live? You see, if someone is making a software, they will want to make it for to bring a great change to the society. This you cannot do until and unless you have a powerful eighth house. So for those, all those people who are into such professions, for example, a politician will want to create such reform that the society changes for better. Someone into software will want to make a software so that the habits of people change for better. Any such change, if you are wanting to induce, you should change, check your 8th house. If the 8th house is not powerful, then great change cannot be made. Without a powerful 8th house, no matter how hard you try, no matter how revolutionary your idea is, either the idea go to disuse, either the idea does not work, Either the idea does not translate into reality or if it translates, then it does not fulfill its intended purpose. The revolution that you have thought of, the revolution for which you are working, if you want that revolution to actually change the lives of people and work the way you have imagined a strong eighth house you need, otherwise it is impossible. Otherwise it is very, very difficult. This is something that you should understand. One more thing is there. If there is a planet in 8th house, one either goes to heaven or goes to hell. Very strong prediction is there. See, 80% of the people are living in the world. They will live in the world. They will die. They will be born in the world again. It's normal karma. Going to heaven or going to hell is a great karma. Right? Very great karma. Now this great karma doer is the person who is having a strong 8th house. Right? This is no ordinary person. You should understand. He is doing such great things that either he is very loved or very hated. But he is at an extreme. It's not ordinary guy. This you have to understand. You see, all these great philosophers, Aristotle, Plato, when they were alive, how much hated they were. Why they were hated? Because they were making a change. You are making a change. For that, things will go to extreme. And because you have a strong 8th house, you have to be prepared. You cannot lose your hope. 
if you lose your hope then how it will work my friend how the great change will come so with planet in 8th house you have a you have to have a heart of steel because you are going to make great great changes when malefic is there in the 8th house in starting there will be hatred after that there will be fame luck loved by people benefic planet in the 8th house in the starting starting means up to the age of 35 40 there will be obscurity and after that there will be name fame status so depending on that for example albert einstein is also having two malefics in the 8th house in the starting he was not good into schools he have to leave his country also all these things happened later on he became very popular so either ways it can go it have to be very very carefully analyzed one more thing is there see you see some people create their own path ramkrishna was idol worshipper vivekanand worshipped in brahman he was not an idol worshipper he break the chain who is breaking the chain strong 8th house planet a strong 8th house lord is breaking the chain it is the chain breaker right anyone who creates something revolutionary i told you but one more thing i have seen 80% of the time people create things on their own see we learn right we get knowledge from schools we get knowledge from teachers we get knowledge from, like knowledge is already produced by someone we first get that knowledge then we advance further but there are some people who have to be self taught either they don't understand what others are teaching or they cannot accept what others are teaching because see they are very revolutionary so this self taught person self gained knowledge it also comes from the 8th house the person have to learn himself the person have to teach himself what i have seen a strong 8th house person generally see if there is no strong planet in 8th house then not following the conventional way making your own path being self taught will become problematic later on this will not be good this will be in a state ban but when 8th house is having a strong planet most important thing that is there that normal traditional conventional way of teaching you cannot succeed into that either your teacher should be very revolutionary right like aristotle is very revolutionary so the students of aristotle can work but if one is going by the by that time of aristotle you say if one is going by the orthodox teaching of the church this person who is having a strong 8th house they cannot go by orthodox teaching of the religion or of any institution right either they should go to an revolutionary teacher like aristotle or they should become self taught they themselves should become self revolutionary so many a times these people have question that everything that work for others why it is not working the same way for me others get this thing easily but why i am not getting it because you have to first have experience there is a saying there are three ways to get the knowledge first by reading second by listening third by experience the first one is easiest the second one is easy the third one is most difficult with malefic in the 8th house the only way to get knowledge and experience in life for you is experience this does mean that many a times even when people tell you not to do it you don't listen to them ultimately you get a very hard lesson that can be painful at times also it also means this and it also means that until and unless you have experienced something you cannot accept it and because you are very very revolutionary because your thinking is not following already in line with what is the accepted norm in the society because of this particular reason a lot of backlash from the society elders government many a time this person have to go through but if they stay firm on their path then as i told you harbinger of great change they will become without any doubt it is there that's the one
one more thing is there eighth house is the house of run run means fight so internal conflict and external conflict is there one thing as i just told you people maybe mother father brother have already warned you but you don't listen to them for anything you say joining a job you want to pursue a particular education some elder have told you that this is not a good field to pursue you leave it but you do not you continue pursuing it and then it's not like you just quickly realize that it is not for you and you leave it no there is a lot of inner conflict that goes on with a planet in the 8th house generally i have seen i have seen hypertension etc these are there in the person person have a habit of thinking a lot there is a constant inner battle that is going on and the sad part is no one around them can understand so first of all they should stop explaining themselves to others secondarily the inner fight they should know that only they can get the answer they should sit in silence write every point down and then they should conclude at the same point of time they should also recognize that this way this easy simple way is not for them but this is what they have to do if they can convince their mind to listen to themselves only only then they can find peace otherwise a lot of conflict is there internally also which keeps the person in constant chaos hypertension these things and other problems that comes from tension can arise and it can make the person sadistic can make the person have melancholy can make the person introvert and all these things it can do so it is very important to listen to yourself and once you have made a decision don't rethink over it or don't overthink over it if you want to live peacefully otherwise problems will be there and that you will not be able to resolve external fight is also there as i told you strong planets in the 8th house in first go people don't like you friends family neighborhood because you are revolutionary also people try to oppose you and because of that with every second person in every situation there is some displeasure either you can remain silent or you can fight 80% of the time because you are revolutionary you will fight and your life will be fights and chaos everywhere this is something that you should accept in life should try to avoid it as much as possible and when it is not possible to avoid there listening to your mind making a firm decision and then sticking to it will be better it is best for the people having planets in the 8th house to become introverts and not share a lot of things with others otherwise problem can happen and at the same point of time because you become introvert that does not mean you think a lot just stop sharing things from people and whatever comes to your mind sit back relax think over things and once you found a conclusion once you reach to a conclusion leave it for better otherwise great problems will be there right one more thing is there the multiple things are there 8th house is also 8th house also means randra randra means hole many a times what happen people work in a institution or people are into a situation where they know bad is happening but they have no chance but to accept people are into a situation where they understand that they are being used they are being suppressed they are not even considered proper humans but people have to suffer through it go through it but it is the 8th house which makes that revolutionary who will break free the chain this person will fight not only for himself but for all the others for example karl marx sigmund freud such people who understood the suppression that people were going through at their point of time and they created ideas made revolutions did things to end their suffering like chi guevara did nelson mandela did or anyone did comes only from a strong eighth house right so this is the breaker of the chain this is someone who will create a revolution this is something that should be very very clearly understood and because there can be a lot of conflicts also whenever you see 
wrong is happening around you, you cannot keep quiet. You should go and you should help others because only you have the ability to do it. And if you don't do it, no one else will be able to. This is something that you should understand. Death and killing are also indicated from the 8th house. Right? It is the house of Maran. This is the house of Mrityu. As I told you, this is ending of longevity. That right? This is end of longevity, which is causing death. But weakness is also there. No, the bodily death is also there. End of if one is nearing the end of longevity, what will happen? The body will become frail, fragile. Person will become weak. So the planet in the 8th house, if you activate that planet a lot, it will lead to weakness. For example, sun. If the person, what is sun? If the person goes too much against their, too much against government and authority, then in that particular scenario, it will be very exhausting for the native. Anything which is orange in color, if you, if you consume, that can be bad for you. Sunlight can be very problematic. Being in sunlight for long hours can be problematic. If sun is there in the 8th house, you should be careful. Moon is there in the 8th house, lot of water, lot of cough, lot of watery substances being exposed to too much cold will be problematic. Saturn Rahu also being exposed to too much cold, being exposed to too much water, taking bath for very long, taking bath very late in night will be very problematic. Mars in the 8th house fighting using machines can lead to wounds and accidents. One have to be very, very careful. Specifically purity of blood one should be very careful about, otherwise problems can be there. Mercury in the 8th house, see Mercury indicates Tridosh. So if life is not punctual, if the balance is not maintained between things, if one a habit of, if one have a habit of doing things, whatever they like for long hours, it can become problematic. This should be avoided. Jupiter in the eighth house also indicates through those the same things like Mercury. You should save anything from becoming a habit for you. Don't engage into habits. Any Anything you like to do, you love to do, do it. But also keep control over your mind, thought and desire and make sure not to overdo it. In the case of Saturn, a lot of company of poor people, a lot of company of people who are suffering and listening a lot to them can impact your mentality negatively. Also be very careful. Venus in the 8th house, not consulting men, but only consulting women only being into the company of women, being disrespectful towards women, in fact, can be very detrimental for you. Cuff cold will also be very detrimental for you. Losing semen, etc. This also goes for Mars. Mars in the 8th house, Venus in the 8th house. Losing semen, a lot of masturbation will also be very detrimental for the person. This should not be done at all. Specifically with respect to Venus, wearing clothes of others or giving your clothes to others to wear will also be very, very detrimental. In the case of Jupiter in 8th house, don't share mantra or your spiritual experiences with anyone else. Mercury in the 8th house, don't advise anyone else. Mars in the 8th house, you can advise anyone else, but someone will tell you, come with me, we will do it together, don't go. Moon in the 8th house, sun in the 8th house, in that particular scenario, guiding someone, it should not be done. Right. Saturn in the 8th house, as I already told you, save yourself from cuff cold. Other than that, not eating for long hours is also problematic. Don't do that. Going with person to do something, you know, like someone have told you, let's go together, we will do it together, don't go. Right. I think Saturn we have covered. In the case of Rahu also, having a great interval between, you know, in eating, between, you know, like eating up very late after a great interval is detrimental. Being into company of friends, what I have seen with Rahu in the 8th house is also very detrimental. Planet aspecting the 8th house also, the same result should be taken. Whatever result I am telling for 
eight house if planted in this house also the same result should be taken okay being into the company of friends listening to a lot of people can be very detrimental if you listen to a lot of people problems will only happen choose one person whom you talk whom you talk with and only listen to that particular person or better listen to yourself only right specifically listening to people who are at a lower status intellectually or in society than you is very detrimental ketu in the 8th house lot of heat lot of sun, sun sunlight lot of spicy food lot of spices is detrimental problematic disturbance into schedule waking up very late etc is also very problematic and most importantly being into the company of a lot of spiritual people is also not good what i mean to say that ketu in the 8th house person should follow their own spiritual path if you listen to others that no no for spiritual development we have to go to satsang and all of these things it will be very detrimental for you this should not be done right this will be problematic in fact if there is a strong planet in the 8th house don't eat non vegetarian food otherwise it will be very very problematic for you because non vegetarian food an animal is getting killed for your pleasure this killing of others will slowly slowly kill good fortune good luck from your life also be careful about it don't do it right otherwise it is problematic one thing secondarily because eighth house indicate death and weakness also in the dasha antara dasha of planet connected with the eighth house lot of weakness can be there dizziness having weak eyesight not being able to think properly etc can be there so you should time accordingly when the dasha antara dasha of planet connected with the eighth house is coming and you have to make sure that at that point of time you are not compelled to do things where a lot of physical hard work is needed such as traveling etc should not be done for mental hard work it is very very good fifth house gives a very strong mind very strong thinking ability with eighth house one can you know eighth house very strongly indicates like the mind of the person is so strong so strong see 80% of the time what happens no because sometime you can take 8th house for intuition also so what happens in intuition because your mind is so strong in just one minute you can find out all the possible outcomes that may have happened and because your mind is also very strong you also very quickly zero down on what must have happened in this particular case this is what you call intuition so mental ability mental capability is very strong the person in just one minute can figure out all the possible outcome of things and because of this particular reason also the person remains in dilemma as well but the basic point is a lot of mental capability vigor and vitality and because of this particular reason a person with a strong eighth house should be into an intellectual work otherwise they are wasting their time and their capabilities in intellectual work they will shine a lot writing articles researches etc are very good for this person they can actually outshine others in doing these and because they have this special ability they should do it right very forcefully i am telling you do it destruction eighth house also indicates destruction so whichever planet is going into eighth house if sun is going into eighth house you say then listening to father or listening to elders generally we don't conceive this way that listening to father can be problematic according to dharma it is a very bad statement that i am making but in reality many people only to fulfill their wishes the wishes of their father they do those things which then curb about their success at later point of time in life so this person sun in the 8th house father moon in the 8th house mother mars in the 8th house brother mercury in the 8th house relatives specifically maternal uncle jupiter in the 8th house then paternal uncles 
और उस चिल्ड्रन वीनस इन द एट हाउस देन वाइफ सैटर्न इन द एट हाउस देन सर्वेंट राहु इन द एट हाउस देन मेटरनल ग्रैंड फादर ग्रैंड मदर एंड केतु इन द एट हाउस पेटरनल ग्रैंड फादर एंड ग्रैंड मदर लिसनिंग टू डेम एंड ओनली विथ दिस टेक्निक इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली फॉर द प्लैनेट इन द एट हाउस डोंट अप्लाई टू प्लैनेट डोंट अप्लाई टू द एट लॉर्ड right listening to this person can be very destructive also i am not saying that don't listen to them what i am saying that whatever advice they are tell, giving you before you implement it before you implement it use your intelligence also that whether it is correct to follow or not otherwise problem right <clears throat> one more thing what i have seen those who are having planets in 8th house because the 8th house indicate death when you see there is a development stage of the child this is anywhere between 12 years of age to 25 years of age at a point of time the child become very receptive to what is happening around him and analyzing things around him he has an he have his own nature behavior and character which remains with him for the rest of the life now people having planets in 8th house generally when their mental development is being made those experiences which mold their thinking and personality for the later part of life is not very good not very pleasant this generally coincides with the death of someone you loved a family member friend or death of someone you admired which can give great shock to these people also and because of this particular reason a negativity negative negative traits in the personality can also be there you should identify in such people you should identify what negative person what negative trait this bad experience is giving and those negative traits should be should be taken out from the personality of the person before the age of 30 32 otherwise problem will be there right for example if moon is there then lot of politics Or if sun is there, then lot of politics. If moon is there, then overthinking. If Mars is there, then thinking that everyone is competing with me, trying to challenge me. Right? Everyone thinks bad of me. If Mercury is there, then being very open with people. If Jupiter is there, then being very conservative. If Venus is there, then having a lot of libido, being easily attracted to anyone. if saturn is there then trying to help everyone and self remorse sadistic tendencies if rahu is in the 8th house then being over smart or when ketu is in the 8th house then being over simple is those is that bad trait of the personality which can be detrimental in the long run one should think of any bad implications that these habits may be having and should try to stop it should try to curb it as soon as possible because if these habits are not taken care of by the age of 30 32 then at later point of time it is very difficult to curb or change and by the time you realize it it is too late to do so and then problems happen then great problems happen. the 8th house is also chaturastra chaturastra is the house of protection mars aspects 4th house and 8th house and mars is commander in chief so 8th house along with 4th house also indicates protection many a times what happen black magic etc one becomes very susceptible to black magic evil lie or one is going through having a lot of accidents etc in day to day accident does not mean a car accident only right? a small accident cutting your finger from a knife is also accident so accidents repeatedly happen right mental sadness mental grief mental misery repeatedly happening these also happen because of the 8th house if you lie black magic this is also the trait of 8th house and there can be a time which is the dashantar the shaf a weak planet when one becomes susceptible to it and then everything feels like falling apart because of this particular reason to save yourself from that i strongly recommend that you should check take the planet in the 8th house if there is many planets in the 8th house then take the 8th lord otherwise take the 8th lord and wear the metal or donate the metal of the 8th lord if sun then brass if moon then silver if mars then gold or copper 
इफ मर्करी देन एलॉय दैट इज मिक्सचर ऑफ एनी टू मेटल इफ जुपिटर देन सिल्वर अगेन इफ वीनस देन सिल्वर अगेन इफ मार्स राहु केतु देन आयरन ऑब्जेक्ट वन शुड डोनेट और अ रिंग मेड अप ऑफ दीज मेटल्स और अ ब्रेसलेट मेड अप ऑफ दीज मेटल्स वन शुड वीयर फॉर देयर प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम ऑल दीज थिंग्स स्पेसिफिकली in when they are going through the shantar dasha of a weak planet because when you are going through the shantar dasha of weak planet you become very easy for you are very accessible a double s e s i b l e na you become very accessible and eighth house also indicate assassination right so make sure that people are not able to easily attack you circumstances are not able to very easily break you and you don't fall into calamities very often if you want to save yourself from that this metal you should either wear or donate whatever seems to suitable to you that is up to you right but this should be done also one thing is there eighth house is indicating pap also whichever planet is there in the eighth house related to that planet some pap one can commit So seventh lord is in the eighth house. Venus is in the eighth house. Pap, bad karma in marriage one can do. One should be very careful about it. Sun is in the eighth house. Then bad karma related to father or father one can commit. Right. So I already told you listening a lot to father can be detrimental. But in this scenario, it's not like you should have hated for father and start committing bad karma. Right. You have to be balanced. If moon then to mother, if Mars then to brother, you know the significations, right? If Mercury then to the relatives, specifically maternal uncle X Y Z, I already told you. Related to these relatives or related to the signification of these planets, you should be very careful not to commit a bad karma. For example, Mercury also indicate children. Mercury also indicate teaching. So be very careful. You don't commit any bad karma with childrens or any any bad karma with someone who is reading or learning. For example, you may do something because of which people who are engaged into studies can be disturbed. Say you play music very loud because of which students in your neighborhood, provided the fact you are living in a neighborhood where students are nearby, gets disturbed in their studies. so by doing this what you are doing you are actually doing bad karma disturbing people and because eighth house indicate pap karma also you have to make sure that this karma you don't commit if venus is there then to the life partner you can create disturbances or to any woman you can create disturbances maybe your nature character behavior your presence is as such that woman start feeling uncomfortable be careful about it right if saturn then you can misuse then you can misuse your leverage with servants can create bad karma be careful if rahu is there then people who work on commission basis people who voluntarily work people who are not servant but into work of servitude as such as carpenter etc be careful with these people if ketu is there then be careful with ascetics and beggars etc because knowingly or unknowingly you can commit bad karma with respect to them you can hurt them which can be problematic sun moon then related to government government employees or in the works of government you can create disturbance which can be a bad karma right if mars then in if mars then to handicapped people to people who are not physically capable who are not physically 100% fit towards them you can commit bad karma for which you should be very very careful otherwise problem will happen whichever planet is there in the 8th house don't tell your secret related to it if sun is there in 8th house or 8th house whichever planet is in 8th house don't tell your secret related to it if sun is in the 8th house don't tell your schedule to anyone If moon is there in eight house, don't tell anyone how you spend your time or what you like to do. If Mars is there in eight house, then don't tell your plans and strategies to anyone. If Mercury is there in eight house, then don't tell anyone which data you consume through books, social media, or anything. If Jupiter is in the eight house, don't tell your spiritual practices and the path you follow to anyone. 
if venus is there into the 8th house then your plannings your learning and your experiences don't share with anyone if saturn is there in the 8th house then your plans ideas how you work don't share with anyone Mars in the eighth house also plans ideas and how do you implement things? How do you do things? Don't tell to anyone. Ketu is there in the eighth house. Then your vision, your intuition, what you think will certainly happen. Don't tell it to anyone. Otherwise, people can misuse it against you. Or when you share your ideas with them, what they will do? They will implement that idea first. They will get its credit and they will get its benefit. And what you will get, nothing. For the eight thousand, I think Rahim have told Rahiman ni jaman ki vatha man hi rakho goe suni it lay hai log sab baaki na lay hai koi. This is a lesson of the eight thousand that you have to remember. Otherwise, problem will be there. Right. So this was about eight thousand nutshell. I am actually running low of time. Right. So I will leave it here only. Many other significations are there, but these are the major significations. And once understood properly, I think all other significations of the eighth house will also be understood properly. And thank you for watching.